My name is Shabam Sadiq, aka SS, aka S Dub, Brooklyn, New York, Jersey. Brooklyn and Jersey, I represent. Basements, you know what I'm saying? Freestyling on the block. You know, my man had a little setup in the basement, so he used to play records. And we all tried our hand at rapping, and I was pretty good. Eh? Everybody was like, you need to make some songs. So I started to focus on making songs, you know, like around when I was like 15 or 16. And it just kept rolling from there. I mean, I'm inspired by all the greats, man. All the great MCs that came along. You know what I mean? When I was younger, you know, they would start bringing me up to like Stretch Armstrong and Bob Vito and Mark Moore and Mayhem and all these legendary shows, the freestyle, you know what I'm saying? So that's how the spark got caught, man, you know what I'm saying? I mean, basically all the legends, you know what I'm saying? I, I give props to inspiring. I'm from Brooklyn. I'm originally from Brooklyn. I moved to Jersey to go to high school, you know what I'm saying? And I moved back to Brooklyn, so I rep both, you know what I'm saying? But I'm, I'm Brooklyn born and raised, you know what I'm saying? But I gotta throw that jersey in there because I was out there. There's certain parts of, certain kinds of hip hop that's super pop. I call that that pop hop, you know what I'm saying? And then there's the underground that's still preserved, still raw, you know what I mean? Depending on what your, your subject matter is, depending on, you know, your topic range. If you rhyme around pussy and liquor all the time, then, you know, I call that pop hop, you know what I'm saying? Rhyme about drug dealing, all the same things. Pop hot. When you expand your mind, you rhyme about your family. You rhyme about political issues. You touch different topics because you know. Don't get it twisted. Hip hop started, you know, partying. So of course you got the party element, but you got to talk about other stuff too. You know what I mean? Expand your mind. You know what I mean? So that's what it is. A pocket of underground broadcast that on the come up, you know what I'm saying? It's just like a restaurant. It's like sometimes the small restaurants, they cook good and you love it and you go and then as soon as they start getting popular and they get big, they have to produce mass quantities of food and it might lose the quality a little bit over time. It's the same thing with rappers. They start off raw, small, and as they get bigger, you know, they got more demands on them so maybe it get watered down a little bit. You know, some people keep it raw to the essence and they got that longevity. Some people got that one quick hit and then they fit. I moved down to Atlanta, not for hip hop reasons, because, you know, that Atlanta is basically trap trap rap. You know what I mean? That's that's all they doing. I moved down to Atlanta for economic reasons. It's a little cheaper, you know what I'm saying? Cost of living is low, but the rent is real low, so you know, I'm just sustaining my family. So I come up to New York to get my dosage a hip hop. I go to LA to get my doses. I go to Philly to get my doses. Boston. You know what I'm saying? Atlanta got pockets of, of dope hip hop too. Boom bap artists that's down there. And even some of the trap is, is pretty good, but the, the most popular stuff is the most bullshit. So, you know, you gotta take the good with the bad, man. Just like the internet. The internet is the gift and the curse. You know? It's good because you can reach people across the world in seconds, but it's bullshit because any bullshit artists can get on there and make a song out of Fruity Loops and try to blow up. You know what I mean? ShabamSadiq.com, long. I got an album, a new album coming out called Timeless of the Collection, top of the year. New video on New Year's called um, GMR. I got the one I dropped uh, two, three months ago called Modern Artillery, which is an EP I recorded in um, Amsterdam when I was on tour. And I got the album from last year called Keepers of the Lost Art that won the Underground Music Award. I'm just keeping it rolling, keeping it consistent, keeping it up to date, trying to stay relevant. Re um, relevant. Relative, re relevant, all that applies. <laughs>